Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with the Creativity Cave and welcome to another edition of Simple to Stunning Sundays. I'm really excited to be bringing you this project. It's actually something that's been in the works for a little while and there's more fun stuff associated with this, but I'm not quite ready to release the details, but I will tell you that it's going to be very exciting and I think everybody is going to love it. So I am featuring this week the Positive Thoughts but a stamp set. It's actually a bundle um, because there is a d set of dies that co coordinate with it. And I'm grabbing the other one because it's a pretty awesome one. Let's see, I think it fits right there. Um, so there's dies as that are available. Um, they are while well supplies last that through this month. And then there's also the positive thoughts stamp set, which is in the occasions catalog. Anyway, I really like this stamp set. And for a couple reasons, first of all, I love the sentiments in it. And then also because it's got kind of a nice variety of everything in it. So let me show you my project. I'm going to start with a color I don't use very often, and that is uh, Pacific Point. It's a great, rich color, but I tend to go for Bermuda Bay and um, Coastal Cabana. Um, you know, when I'm looking for this kind of color, but I really like this card. So here we go. Um, I, it, the simple card is very simple and I really like it. It's just a very simple color combination. I'm going to use some gray granite for my sentiment. I've got a three and three quarters by five inch piece of whisper white, and I'm just going to stamp the sentiment down here, um, towards the bottom. And then I'm going to take and ink up my butterfly in some Pacific Point ink. Now here's the awesome part. I'm just going to ink it up one time and I'll stamp it right there and then I'll stamp it twice more without re-inking and then that's it. Really, really simple. Okay, I'm going to take and well I think I'll pop it up onto my card. Let's get some dimensionals here. And that's it for the simple card. Really, really simple. And I think this is a really nice simple card. It's um, something you could make a whole bunch of really quickly and easily. And um, is a great just card to send to somebody you're thinking about. So there we go. Now, my stepped up card is going to take it one step further. So in this, well, maybe a couple steps further, I'm going to start once again with, I've got these extra two dimensionals on my finger. I'm going to start with my uh, Pacific Point card base again, once again. Now this time, I'm going to add in a layer of uh, Pacific Point cardstock just to add a little bit of extra um, to the card. You know what I mean? Like just a little something, something. I'm going to trim just a skosh off of this. I keep using my little mini trimmer that you can get for free when you sign up to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. It's so awesome. Whether you want your products at a discount or you want to start a business, we can take good care of you. And there's lots of great perks. I'm going to put my... Um, paper under here to protect my work surface. I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to, I've got to get rid of these. <laughs> I thought I could hold on to them, but no, they're bugging me too much. Okay. What I'm going to do is take and stamp this little kind of greenery stamp, and I'm just going to stamp it in the corner here a little bit um, to add a little interest to my card. Okay, so then I'll layer this layer onto my card. And then I'll do my stamping once again. This time, however, instead of using that three and three quarters by five inch layer, I have die cut for myself one of the frame dies. And they've it's got a little perforated edge to it, which is really kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to do the exact same thing on this, where I stamp the sentiment down at the bottom in my basic gray, and I'm going to ink up my stamp and stamp those three butterflies just like I did before, and oh, don't they look awesome on that frame? Oh, so nice. We'll pop this up onto our card. And then I'm also going to embellish those butterflies with 
some pearls. Don't you think it, they need something? I mean, I do. <laughs> All right. And here are my pearls. So I'll use my take your pick tool. I love this thing. Just get a little bit of my tacky going. And I'm just going to put a pearl in the center of each. Okay, so there's my middle one. Now we're really going to pull all the stops out for this last one. I'm going to stay with the same card base. I'm going to use that same layer of four and an eighth by five and three eighths. That's how big this was. And I just want to make sure it fits on here right. Yes, that looks good. Okay, then I'm going to stamp this one again, just like I did before. But this time I'm going to do a little bit more. I'm going to kind of increase how much stamping is happening here. To really kind of create a nice look for my card like that okay now I'm gonna take this piece and I'm going to emboss it and I'll be right back all right so I used my subtle embossing folder and you can see I've got some gorgeous color now the other thing I want to do is take and add a little bit of color to the edge of this. So I'm going to take one of my blending brushes. These are just um, ooh, makeup brushes that I got off of Amazon, oval makeup brushes. Okay, so I'm just going to color the edges here to add a little bit more color. I always get rid of that first little bit of ink off my brush so I don't get any harsh lines on here. Okay, so then I, that just really richens the cardstock. All right, we'll attach that to our card base. And then, there we go. So it really stands off, it looks great. Next, I'm going to do the same stamping again. The stamping is really consistent but we will kick this up just a little as well so i'll stamp just as i've been doing before one two three and i love that gradation of color that we get but this time i also stamped them a second time and die cut them out so now i have my one two and three um, but they're die cut so i'll take each of these and of course curl them a little bit and then place them right on top of the ones I stamped onto my frame here. And I like having the, the image underneath because then it kind of just makes it a little bit more dynamic looking, which is kind of cool. I'll pop that up right over the top. And then, of course, we'll embellish this with our pearls. Ooh, as well. Gosh, thank goodness that did not go in the ink. <laughs> I know, I live dangerously with those ink, open ink pads, don't I? All right, so I'm going to pop this layer on my card, of course. And we're going to do a couple extra things to this. Because you know how I like to make things fancy. Oh, that is so beautiful, isn't it? Now I'll add my pearls. And then I also want to add just a little bit more. So I'm going to take my, um, oops, that's blueberry bushel. I need Pacific Point. There we go. There we go. I've got my Pacific Point marker, and I am going to close my ink pad for this. I'm going to do a little spritzing on here just closing up my ink pads spritzing can be a little bit messy I'll flick that with some awesome spritzing look at that and then last but not least I want a little shimmer on this card I wonder if you were thinking the same thing so I'm going to take my um 
clear wink of Stella and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to smack it against my marker and then that will give me some speckles of shimmer kind of all over. Actually, I'm do just a little more. There we go. And you can see now there is some shimmer happening on this card and I just love it. So my three cards... Let me get rid of my background so you can see them a little better. All right, this one, this one, and my simple one looks really simple now, but I love these cards and I hope you do too. Now, if you need to purchase any of the supplies for this project, please shop my online store. I really would appreciate your support. It helps me bring more videos just like this to you each week. And when you shop my online store, you can become a VIP rewards member. I've got a great VIP rewards program. And right now I have a special uh, prize drawing going on on my VIP page. So if you're not on there, make sure you, you head on over and join that Facebook group. Um, all you have to do to be a VIP is have purchased through Stampin' Up! merchandise through my um, Stampin' Up! website. So thank you so much for stamping with me today, guys. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you again soon. Bye!